Hello, I'm Kevin. We are at NIA Body Kits headquarters. So we manufacture body kits right here in Miami, Florida. Uh, we manufacture them out of ABS plastic and uh, we design them uh, specifically for each vehicle. In the beginning, it was a hobby. You know, it was just, oh yeah, let's make body kits for cars, let's play with cars. And then my mom would be like, get a real job, stop playing with cars. <laughs> and I was like, no, there's something here. She's like, okay, I'll give you a few years. And I had a friend that was older than me, so I didn't even have a car. He took me to like a car meet. And then I see all these cars just like, and I was like, man, this is pretty cool. And everybody's talking about their cars and the environment. I mean, everybody has one thing in common, right? They're like, oh, what'd you do your car? What'd you do your car? And I was like, this is pretty cool. When I get my car, I'm gonna do the same thing. And, you know, got my license, got my car, and then I started modifying the car. It would just be, you know, one thing here, one there. Everything in a budget, but it was just all, like, yeah, I don't know. I've always had like a thing, like I've always loved, like working with my hands and being creative. And then I just started putting the business in front of the hobby. So it was like, okay, I'm gonna hire somebody. And out of that, it just kept growing. I uh, left my job and did this full time and, and it actually started growing further, further up. So I was like, I was like this, is, this could be something. <laughs> so for many years, we just had one kit for sale and I found out about these thermoform machines. One front lip would take us eight hours to make. With the thermoform machine, once the mold is done, it would take us 30 minutes. So, man, we can actually do a few of them in one day instead of just one. But the hard part was trimming them. You know, we would air saw, we used a whole bunch of different machines, and then we finally found a cutout uh, tool that's used for like sheetrock. Of course, nobody's hands is perfect, so you see all the cuts be like, <laughs> so you have to get them back, sand them down. So the kid would take us, you know, 30 minutes to form, and then another two or three hours to like shape it, make it perfect. We were making more models, more kits, and then it came to a point where even three hours for a kit was too long. And then um, I learned about CNC machining. I met one guy who came in and he told me about ShopBot. He's like, you know, there's a company that makes the CNC machines. You know what I mean? They're, they're economic. They're not as, as crazy priced as like some other machines. And you know, it's made in the US. So I called them and I think I was talking to David maybe. And he's like, you need to buy three axis machine to make the molds. And then you have to buy a five axis machine to actually trim them. So a few years passed by and then, you know, saved up some money and then, so I called ShopBot again. Is there a way to just make one machine? They said, yeah, I don't see why not. We could just put a five axis head on an alpha gantry guest base, right? And I told them, I was like, if you can make it work, I'm sold. They came back and they said, yeah, we could do that for you. I was like, what? Okay, perfect. <laughs> so I gave them the deposit and um, they, they went to work. After we got everything programmed, the uh, CNC machine now started trimming the pieces for us. When we cut the first one, it took minutes. <laughs> and the cut was exact. And now you have a machine trimming everything. So we're able to not be afraid to come up with new products anymore because the CNC machine would be trimming the pieces and then William can concentrate on the new products. When we come up with a new design, I'll sketch it out uh, with Avril. He helps me out because he's a better sketch artist than me. <laughs> so he'll he'll sketch it out for me. We'll uh, present the sketching to uh, William. William will do everything in 3D. Once everything's good, then we commit to a mold. The mold goes onto the uh, the vacuum forming machine, make the piece, and after that it goes into the CNC. So it uses the three axes to make the molds and then the five axes to trim the pieces. From there it goes into production. Production, they sand everything down, make sure everything's perfect. And if the customer wanted to paint it, we color match it, paint it. And then uh, from there, quality control. Our guys, I mean, they they find every speck of dirt. <laughs> they wet sand it, they buff it, make sure everything is perfect before boxing it up and then shipping out to the customer. The shop bot is kind of like a, it, it's a two-in-one basically. Like what we were dreaming of for many years and, and, and Shop, I was able to make it, so I was, I was excited for that. <laughs>